Welcome to Glacier National Park. The goal is to do most of the Highline Trail. I passed three rams on the way back. It's just no. today is to hike around 15 miles. I did not have an enjoyable experience trying to find parking this morning. We are halfway up going to the Sun Road at Logan Pass. The goal is to do most of the Highline Trail, which is supposed to have such amazing views and also why everyone was here. One of the hardest parts is that this view is right outside the car. So before we've even hiked any miles, that's what we have. Makes it hard to justify going 15 more, but we'll see how pretty it is and I'll let you know if it's worth it. I have anything and everything in my bag. <laughs> because it's gonna be such a long trip, I did bring layers. I also have a lot of water. I have an entire day's worth of food, I think. Sunscreen, bear spray. Should be everything we need. My phone says I'm 0.6 from the start of the trail. There just wasn't any parking, so this was the only option. And to think this morning I was worried about hiking alone. I don't think there's gonna be anywhere in this massive park that I'm gonna be able to be alone. After all that, I have made it to the trailhead. I think <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. I do know that it's a very busy trail. There's gonna be a lot of people here. The sun is very warm, but I think especially this morning, the trail is gonna be in the shade. The big thing is I wanna be able to enjoy this hike. It should just be a rim walk. If we get ambitious, we're gonna go here and then come look at the glacier. This is one of the marquee glaciers here at the park. And to be able to see it from the overlook would be amazing. The only other way to see it would be this trail, which isn't even on the going to the sun road. So hopefully we just take our time. I have enough food and water. Literally, we could spend all day doing this hike. This year I've gone on a few hikes and afterwards, I've told people that would be a great hike to spend your whole day doing. And today I'm gonna take my own advice and just enjoy it. It's gonna be a lot of up and down. Speaking of. Do you wanna go this way? We can come this way. Hi. Go ahead. That was uh, not ideal. I don't know why I chose to go down the, the ledge instead of up. 
if I would have went to the right of the trail, I would have had farther to get away, but I was just on the edge, which isn't, and then he was, by the time I realized I had nowhere to go, he was too close. So I'll work on that for next time. Other than crossing directly in front of him again, there was nowhere else to go. This High Line Trail is kind of the hiking equivalent of the going to the Sun Road. Just as popular, similar views, and we're gonna walk, kind of watch the road as we go. It's almost like walking with a wall of wildflowers. I've never been on a trail like this. stopping because I need a break. I'm sure my cheeks are really red, but also there's a mountain goat coming. It's so cute. Everybody's on the side of the trail and that is where I'm going. Hopefully this isn't his trail. Heads up. Sorry. I think there's people behind me. How adorable. Oh my goodness, was that the cutest? <laughs> so much fun. Sometimes when I'm hiking, I go slower so that I can get some space to myself. This is what that looks like. This has been a very busy trail. One of the busiest I've been on this year that's long. Um, most trails that are this busy are really short, even if you just come do this much. <laughs> this is pretty great. I am probably, I'm going to venture to say two miles in, but I don't know for sure. How cool is that? There's the going to the sun road down here. Amazing.
I've been watching for a few minutes. We actually have some switchbacks coming up to take us through that way. We are officially in the sun. I mean, if that's not the cutest thing. Wow. One of the worst things to see on a high elevation hike when you're not done yet is a downhill. Since it's out and back, if I go down, I know I have to come back up. And this goes down quite a bit. At least I'll have a really good view as I take breaks the whole time. <laughs> Surprisingly, as an introvert, I always talk to people when I'm on trail and one of my favorite things is how big the like fish story of the trail, like fish story as in every time you talk to somebody, the trail gets steeper ahead or more downhill, harder on the way back, the end point gets longer away. So as of right now, the story I've collected from our trail in front of us from talking to, I think I've talked to like five or six groups now is that it's still three more miles and the end to the glacier overlook is like a thousand feet uphill i'm interested to see how it is some people will pass and be super encouraging and other people will pass and be like oh we couldn't do it but maybe you can do it and it's just fun to hear also i've already talked to people today from grand rapids michigan and new jersey two of my favorite states to visit before we even get to this glacier, I'm gonna have to stop and eat some lunch. At some point, <laughs> I can show you all of the snacks I brought. It feels very heavy in my pack. I also have two extra liters of water in my pack, so it all feels extremely heavy. Oh, and, and I brought my binoculars because I've decided that my goal now is to not just see animals, but to only see them through my binoculars. So hopefully that means I see a grizzly bear in the distance or a moose in the distance and I can just use my binoculars. We are still going downhill. Wow. I don't know if I saw enough pictures before coming here to really know what to expect. This is amazing. I just got my first look at the trail up to the overlook. From what I know, the trail just goes straight up to there. That'll be fun, right? Right? I'm gonna sit on these rocks, eat some lunch so that I can have some energy and question all of this. <laughs> Two peanut butter sandwiches, oatmeal pie, chicken in biscuit crackers, honey roasted almonds, chicken salad, cinnamon crunch, and breakfast bars.
I've eaten lunch, drank water, rested, and I can't think of anything else to do except for climb. All the way over there. Everyone coming down says take your time, rest a lot, and it's totally worth it. So we have to go. Down here, that's the trail we came up on. Those people now look like ants. People were talking about how long it actually is, and this section of the trail is 0.8 of a mile and a thousand feet gain. So that means for every, it really means for every three feet forward, you're going an entire foot up. Crazy. Or like one stair every foot and a half. This is by far the hardest hike I've ever done. I haven't even finished it yet. I want to film by while I'm walking, but it's too steep. And when I rest, I want to breathe. <laughs> Crazy. I think we're here. Oh, that was hard. Okay. Let's go see this thing. that's behind us I have six six and a half seven miles back to the car I know the full round trip with the extra mile from being parked down the road is gonna be about 15 and a half miles undoubtedly that eighth of a mile up and eighth of a mile back was equal to the effort or more than this whole hike either way I have to hike back to the van can I come that way Are you nice? <laughs> You're very pretty. Thank you. <sighs> hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What do you do about a deer? Hey, bud. Very pretty. Like your fuzzy antlers.
Now, there you go. Someone told me these guys aren't as nice. I'm gonna wait and see where he goes. He has spotted me and he's still pretty far away. Looked like I interrupted him. So we're gonna take a minute, relax, and then get back to it. Whew. Where are all those people that were on trail with me? don't want to be near you go the other way hey I've been here for about 15 minutes watching him eat I don't want to sit down because then I'd be low I've hit my trekking pole and he doesn't care and luckily people are starting to come by I did think they were closer oh well No, why is this happening? I don't want this to happen. Yeah, you go that way. This is your thing. Hey guys. Got a situation here. Maybe he'll leave, that's okay too. This is good things, thank you for just showing up. <laughs> Keep going. Oh no. Why is that happening? It's just no. Stumbled on this guy and somebody earlier told me that the sheep with the little horns are generally calm and that one of these oh. guys ran somebody down the trail. Yeah. Should we walk by? What do you yeah, think? Ready, uh, yeah, I am too. He looks a bit more distracted. No, no. No, I don't like you. We are not friends. I need to. I'm telling him. He's that aggressive. I'm going to do the. I can lead it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of scary looking. Yeah, he's got a cycle. The hike back was interesting. I made lots of friends. I passed three rams on the way back. I waited for the ram to move along and then waited for people to come along. The second time, I couldn't get the GoPro out because <laughs> the ram was coming towards me and I had nowhere to go to outrun him. And <laughs> so I got my trekking pole out and my bear spray. Luckily, one of the other guys, the guys came up running behind me but I scared him off before he got there. I hit my trekking pole on a rock and yelled at the ram to get away. I even had the safety clip off of my bear spray, so that was exciting. Bear spray is just like a massive can of pepper spray, so I know that it would scare the ram away, but it was also way too windy. We all would have been really in trouble <laughs> if that's what had to happen. But being rammed by ram would also not be good. That is beautiful, and we are officially back at the van. Thank goodness. Whew. That was a long one. With the extra mile to go to the visitor center from where I had to park, it ended up being like 15 and a half miles. I definitely ran out of water. That half that half bottle of water that I spilled ended up, uh, it would have been very useful. I have blisters and the last like six miles just killed me. It was that hike up to the glacier that just zapped me. Luckily, I plan ahead. I have grape Gatorade. I'm about to uh, unearth this situation and see how bad it is. First things first. Today I'm at the Polebridge Mercantile and Bakery. They are famous for their huckleberry bear claws. 